What's going on, beautiful people? It's Marcus Beck with another video, Valiant Pursuit clothing brand. I'm excited about this one. We wanted to be able to, to share our journey with you guys, so we're doing a lot of documentation. And this video is basically going to be how we started this clothing brand. Now, I don't want this video to be too long, so if I have to break it up, I will. So it just it just, it just depends on how it goes as I'm filming this. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that thumbs up, comment down below. It might turn it into a series or something. You never know. Let's get into it. The first thing that we needed to get started was to have a story, to have a reason why we were creating this clothing brand. So that was a lot of brainstorming uh, between my wife and I on what the reason why we were doing this clothing brand because we love fashion of course y'all see we love sneakers uh so we wanted a clothing brand that had uh, a meaningful purpose uh so the more that we dug into that and brainstormed uh, we came up with our our story of value and pursuit and uh just seeking purpose so that would be the the number one thing that i would say getting into creating a clothing brand is to have a story have a reason why you're doing it money cannot be your your motivation to do it you will get burnt out if that is your your motivation so just keep that in mind next I would say come up with a dope design or a concept uh, something that people can that really resonates with people so on top of having a reason why you're doing it you need to be able to display that in in your clothing so when we designed our logo and our compete shirt which is our first design um, I want it's a meaning behind it so when people see it it kind of catches people's eye for the first time because it, it, it makes people kind of second look because of course it's backwards the first thing people ask is why is compete backwards and our first response is always it makes sense when you look in the mirror because that's the only competition that you should be concerned with is you versus you so and then when a lot of people see that they were like oh okay that that was a dope idea. So um, that's one of the things that I would say if you're starting a clothing brand, make sure you have a dope idea, dope design, dope concept. So this next point, I may elaborate more in another video, but it's basically trademarking. Um, I know a lot of companies that do trademark trademarking later on um, as the company grows. We just decided to do it before we actually started because we believed in what we were doing and we felt like we already had a dope idea and we didn't want anybody else to infringe on that. So trademarking, in my opinion, is very important, especially if you don't want to deal with any legal issues down the road. Uh, so that gives, gives us peace of mind to know that our name and our logo is protected. Now we've gotten to the point where we're actually ready to get some clothing. So what we did was we sampled a lot. So right now we're basically we're doing hoodies t-shirts hats and what we did we sampled all three like before we even put print on the materials we wanted the materials to fill them to do a wash and wear test uh, multiple washes multiple wears to see how they hold up over time because we personally love t-shirts that last a long time so we wanted that so we wanted that to translate into our business as well so this is our black on black compete shirt we just dropped for juneteenth and we really wanted a t-shirt that was not going to shrink uh it's already pre-shrunk t-shirts we just wanted something that was going to last and we wanted people to to know when they got it that it was going to it, it felt like it was a good quality shirt so we went through I don't know. We went through a lot of sample t-shirts, a lot of manufacturers. That's what I'd recommend. Sampling a lot of manufacturers, seeing what you like. It all depends at the end of the day on what your goal is. Uh, if your goal is to have a, a, a cheap shirt, you can get a cheap shirt anywhere. Uh, so your sample process may not be that long. But if you're trying to get a high-end quality shirt for wholesale prices, you're going to do a lot of a lot of searching because what is quality to one person may not be a, be the same quality as somebody else. So it's all dependent on what you're trying to accomplish with the T-shirts that you're getting. Um, and the same goes with hats. 
we did a lot of sample hats to get to where we are now, where we are now. So this is the latest hat that we dropped, which is the black and gold. And we did a lot of sampling to get to this point where we got value pursuit on the back there. And we have the inside taping on the inside of the hat that has value pursuit as well. That's in green. We have a suede brim. All of these things we discussed with the manufacturer to get exactly what we were looking for when it came to hats. And that goes for the dad hats as well. So sample, sample, sample to make sure you're getting what you want. Uh, Cause the last thing you want to do is get t-shirts and then you start selling t-shirts and then you start to get these barrage of emails, bad reviews, customers saying this shrunk after the first wash, things like that. So unless that's what your, your lane you're trying to go for and you're trying to sell, sell like a $15, $10 shirt or something like that, then it's all good. They know what to expect when they spend that much money. But our shirts are actually $28, but when people get our shirts, they know what they're getting. They're going to get a quality t-shirt. So keep that in mind. The next topic, this may be another video that could be separate as well. Um, I've had a lot of questions on should we do screen printing or should we do drop shipping? And that kind of goes back to my last point here, which we, we do screen printing. So this shirt again, the black on black is screen printed on. Um, and we deal with a local screen printer that we've been dealing with since we got started. And they do a great job. And again, being detailed with who's doing the work, I'd rather be very particular than vague when it comes to something like this. So you get exactly what you want. Uh, because when we were starting out, may not necessarily got what we wanted, uh, but as we learned, we were able to be more detailed with the screen printer and the design team to let them know exactly what we were trying to accomplish with this particular design. Now, personally, we don't like drop shipping because we don't get to see the, the product before it reaches the customer. And that's one thing that I pride myself on. I want to see it before it leaves. Uh, that way I know what condition this product is. We don't know where that stuff is stored at from drop shipping. You never see it. Uh, plus, who you're doing your drop shipping with, they're probably going to take a huge amount of the profits from you. So uh, this, everything that we do is in-house. So everything you guys see, uh, we, we do in-house other than the screen printing, which we've uh, worked out a, a great deal with our local screen printer and there's screen printers everywhere So if you want to go that route hit up your local screen printers anywhere and you know, it could be a mutual agreement that you guys come to and as they see you growing They they they're always going to want to get your business So continue to to work on that relationship with them and you guys can grow together. So that's always a good thing. And I, I just don't think that's something I can get from drop shipping. Um, not to say there's anything wrong with drop shipping, just personally, just personally, I'm not crazy about drop shipping just because I don't know what the customer is getting. And I don't know what quality of shirt that they're getting. So I, that's just that's just me. I'm not crazy about drop shipping. All right, the next thing and probably the most important thing, and it's something that I am still working on, and that is patience. Have patience. Believe in what you're doing. Believe in what you're putting out there. Put in the work and have patience. Um, I learned that from a year ago. Again, this might be another a video of what I've learned over the past year and a half since we launched. And patience has probably been at the top of the list. Having patience, not doing too much too soon. Uh, just take the steps, take it, just absorb everything on your journey on starting this clo clothing brand and take your time and learn from everything that you're doing. So that would be the main, one of the main things that I would recommend is having patience. Just having that patience is so key. And at the end of the day, believe in what you're doing, believe in the product that you're putting out there, have faith in that. Like you're putting in the work, you, you're going through all this, you're putting your money where your mouth is, believe in what you're doing, wear your gear. Man, that's so important, wear your gear. Like you, will, if you see me out on the street, I'm going to have my stuff on. Like you're gonna see me in this. So, because people see that and they see, oh, he's not even rocking his own stuff. 
Like it's, it's like you don't even believe in it. If you don't believe in it, what makes you think somebody else is gonna believe in it? So rock your stuff. I I will wear the same t-shirt. I will wear a blank t-shirt before I'm not wa wearing my stuff. So when I go out, I support other companies. Don't get me wrong. I support other brands, things like that. But when I'm going out in the public and uh, and I'm trying to get fitted up, I'm want to show off my products. So, I mean, I know that could sound selfish, but like if I'm trying to get my name out there, I'm a walking billboard. So I have to understand that I need to I need to wear my own gear. I believe in it. So keep that in mind. Wear your stuff. Wear your gear. Whatever it is, bracelets, hats, shirts, pants, joggers, sweats, whatever it is, wear it. Because you want if people don't see that you rocking your own stuff, what it they will not rock with you like that if you're not rocking your own stuff. So but yeah, man, that's going to be it for this video. Again, I didn't want to make it too long. Hopefully it's not too long. But if it's anything you guys want me to elaborate on, just comment it down below. I'll create a new video for it and just focus on these topics. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button for us. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notifications bell. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, Valiant underscore Pursuit. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.